Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my video. And today I'm gonna to be doing sort of an overview of my newest freestyle quad here, with the main focus being on the motors and the flight controller. So to begin, let's just run down the specs. The frame is an AUX FPV Acrylite 230. This is actually uh, the same quad that I had with the Betaflight F7 and the BBB motors. Um, for some reason, that setup just was not, I always, when I was just trying to cruise, I would get little shakes in it, no matter what I tried, no matter what soft mounting, could not get rid of it. So I just decided to do a complete overhaul of the electronics since the frame was obviously good. I've used it before, it's a good frame. The motors, these are the Flywoo NIN for Ninja. These are 22, or actually these are 2306, 1750 kV. They have nine millimeter bearings, curved magnets, a little lip on the bottom, a hollow shaft. Obviously the nice gold bling design overall, and they do have, I believe, a chrome and titanium version, um, as well as a 2207 size. I just chose a 2306 for a freestyle build here. And they are also definitely a very affordable price. I think they're around $18. The only thing that I don't like right off the bat is that they use um, 18 gauge wires. There's no reason for 18, 18 gauge wires, especially on 6S. You could probably use 22 gauge and it wouldn't matter. But that's not a big deal. It's just a couple grams you lose. Uh, up front, obviously GoPro Session Hero 5 in a 3D printed mount um, for this frame. We have the Runcam Micro Eagle up front. In the middle for the ESC, we have an Akon AK32. 4-in-1, 32-bit ESC. The flight controller, um, it is kind of smooshed in there. And since I'm outside, I don't have all my proper uh, filming stuff here. I'm not going to take this apart, but I'll put a picture on screen. It's the Flywoo F405, so the motors and the flight controller are from Flywoo. Um, it has that little suspended gyro, which I'm, I'm not a fan of, but I'll get more into that on how it flies toward a little bit, a little bit further into the video. But the overall build of it was quite nice. Everything went together couple places to solder on. Very nice, easy to access boot button here. Had no problems with that. In the back I have a uh, little Crossfire Nano uh, strapped to the bottom and then a TBS Unify HV Race there. The Fox Ear Lollipop and the Immortal T. And the props are the Gemfan 5043 Wind Dancer, the new ones. So that's a quick overview of all the parts. So just in comparison to what a 4S quad weighs, um, my 4S quads weighed about 620 grams. And now if I put a 6S 1250 battery on here, which is going to give you about 4 minutes of flight, it's about 638 grams there, so it's a little heavier. However, if I use a 1050, which is similar to a 1550 4S, it's going to bring the weight down all the way down to just below 600 grams. So that's very nice if you want to do some uh, more aggressive proximity and still probably get about 3 minutes of flight. A 1050 on a setup like this is definitely going to be very nice. So let's get into how this thing flies. And now originally, um, I'll try to show, I don't know if I have any footage of it, but... When I first um, started flying this, I had a very weird, like if I was at zero throttle and just punched, or just some weird stuff around low throttle, it would almost do like a twitch, start to fall out of the air and then cover itself. And I wasn't, I've never really um, seen behavior like that before, so I went ahead and I tried a bunch of different settings. I, uh, I updated the ESCs to, um, I did 48 kilohertz um, on the BL Heli 32, I set them to auto timing, that didn't really help. Made the quad fly better, but it didn't really help the issue. And the uh, Flywoo F405, I was worried it was something wrong with the gyro, but it came flashed on Betaflight 3.5.2, um, and I updated it to the newest, which at the time is 3.5.6, and that seemed to fix it. And then after that, I pretty much just, I've flown about 10 packs through this thing, just been tuning it and adjusting the PIDs and my rates for how I like it to fly and for these props. So let me just show you some um, GoPro footage from a flight that I just did, just so you can get a feel of how it flies and how it sounds and the tune of it.
So here we are back after that flight footage and hopefully you could tell this thing is definitely flying very, very nicely. Um, the flying is not as best as I can. It's, it's very cold right now. It's kind of hard to fly with cold hands. But the motors, I am extremely, the motor is by far my favorite part of this quad. These 2306 1750 kV motors are just so smooth and really powerful. They just have a really nice power band to them. And paired with these Gemfan 5043, since this is a freestyle quad, it's a little bit heavier than obviously a race quad. Uh, 1750 kV is a little bit high, but when you pair it with a lower pitch prop like this, I know a lot of people use V1S for the same reason, the HQ. Um, it just really makes for a really nice locked in flying quad while still getting a lot of power. The top speed on this is actually pretty, pretty good as well. These props and motors are a nice combo. Um, the flight controller, the flight controller is flying well. I really haven't had that issue in a while now. Um, I still, I'm not sure about this gyro suspended on the piece of foam though. I'm just really not a big fan of it because it takes up, um, hopefully you can see, it's, it's close to the top plate. It kind of adds more height to the board. I just don't think it's necessary. I think an MPU 6000 with a soft mounted board is really the way to go. Um, I, I've never been a fan of like dual gyros, F7, stuff like that. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of gimmick to me. But overall, the quad is definitely flying very well, and this will probably be my main freestyle quad going forward for all my freestyle content that you see, so these parts will be linked there. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. Very, very impressed with the uh, motors. Flight controller works just fine, but like I said, not a fan of the suspended gyro. But definitely these motors. Great job, guys, on the motors. So yeah, there will be links down in the description below to all of the parts. If you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.